welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday and I'm really excited to bring you all some Monday motivation. I'm going to go ahead and kick off today's video because I'm so excited about this new gallery wall. I was telling you guys about this idea in my last video. I picked these up from Ikea and here is the name here. They're always really hard to pronounce, but I will link them below in case you guys want to check them out. I think they come in different colors, but I wanted to go ahead and just take you guys along with me really quick to put up this gallery wall. I love bouncing decor ideas and getting your feedback. You guys are always so, so helpful. So let's go ahead and get this gallery wall up super quickly and then let's jump into some cleaning. If you missed last Thursday's video, I'll make sure to have that link down below. Make sure you check it out. The artwork I had on this wall, I ended up moving into the brand new redone guest bedroom and I just love how that room is coming along and your feedback and comments on that room seriously have been making me so so happy you guys were telling me how great it's looking and how much you love that print in that room versus this dining room so i think i'm gonna go ahead and keep it in there so thank you so much if that was you that took a moment to leave me a comment and give me your feedback on that it is so so appreciated so that's where those prints went so i'm gonna quickly eyeball these frames now i know this may be a little cringy to some people but for some reason i just prefer to eyeball these because sometimes i feel like you can measure things out and it just doesn't look right so i like to hang things according to the eye and just how it looks and my husband even made a comment and he's like you hung that by yourself you did a really good job so I went ahead and threw these up on the wall. I started on the bottom row and then did the top row. And you guys will get a better look at these in a little bit, but I still need to get some prints for the frames. We're gonna be doing some family photos. So I'm just gonna kind of let those be for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys upstairs to the master bedroom with me now. I meant to start this video upstairs, but I was just so excited when those frames came to the door. So I decided let's go ahead and get these hung really quick and then I'll just go back upstairs and we can get to the cleaning. So I hope you guys didn't mind that little extra um, task there in today's video, but let's go ahead and tackle some cleaning motivation since I know that's what you all came here for today. And so I really love to make my bed. It just helps me feel a lot more accomplished and motivated. Same thing with getting dressed for the day. You can even throw on leggings and a sweater and stay comfy, but just changing your clothes and not staying in the same thing that you slept in just helps a ton when it comes to just checking things off your list. And those are my two boys if you're new here that you guys just saw. Rylan is nine and Colton is seven. And I just had them come in here and help with the stuff that I folded their laundry and they can actually go ahead and tackle that and get it put away. I still hang their shirts and stuff because I feel like, let's be honest, they still need a lot of work when it comes to that. But I'm gonna have them go ahead and put away some of their laundry and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these baskets, get them up off the floor in my bedroom because I need to go ahead and tackle some more laundry for the week. So if you have a basket of laundry just sitting around, go ahead and grab it and get it put away. I promise it'll make you feel so much better. head into the boys bathroom because it is a wreck but while I'm cleaning the bathroom I wanted the boys to take charge in the loft I'm trying to make them take more responsibility and do the cleaning in here so I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like and then we'll pop back in here and show you what it looks like after
really hard to tell on camera the real mess. Sometimes a camera makes a house look cleaner than it really is. It doesn't really pick up the dust and the dirt and the grime as it, you know you see it in real life. But this bathroom was really bad. We all know how kids are with toothpaste. There was toothpaste on the floor, on the cabinets, on the walls. So I just took my Lysol wipes and wiped that down. Gave the toilet a good scrub and now I'm gonna take this soft scrub. I love to come in here and use this or Barkeeper's Friend in between using just hot, hot water and a magic eraser. If you have not used a magic eraser in your bathrooms, you're seriously missing out. And a lot of the times you just need hot water and the magic eraser and it just cuts through all of that soap scum and grime and it just gets it really nice and clean. But I needed to come in here with an actual cleaner today and just get caught up and scrub out this tub. And I wanted to get the bottom of it really good and get up the walls because there was some um, soap residue. And then I'm just gonna go through and rinse it with really, really hot water. ahead and check in on the boys progress look how much better this desk area looks did you guys see it before you could hardly see the desktop and now it's all nice and tidy and Rylan was just showing me some of the Legos that he's been working on he loves Legos and he's so good at it um, obviously this loft can still use a lot of work and a lot of organization but for them coming in here and cleaning this themselves it looks 10 times better so I'm gonna go ahead and give them an A plus for effort. We tend to set a lot of things on top of this wall. Sometimes we'll put drinks, kind of like a little staging area for things that need to go downstairs so we can just grab it and take it down the next time somebody goes down there. And so this can look a little dingy. So I'm just taking my grapefruit multi-surface spray by Method. This stuff smells so good. This one and the sea salt and lime are my favorite. And I'm just taking a rag. I'm gonna spray everything down and just wipe it down, get all those marks off. And to be honest, I hate that these are white because I feel like it shows everything, but I also don't wanna go through the work of changing it out because I know this is not our forever home and there's just other areas of the house that I would like to address. So I'm just gonna continue to come through here and try and wipe it down once a week. poor husband if it's not one thing it's another I've currently been shopping flooring and if you guys have been with me for a while then you know that this flooring has been bothering me since the day we bought this house almost four years ago I really want to get rid of the tile downstairs and the carpet up here is just done and I really want to come through here and do life proof wood flooring throughout the house and all new baseboards and I know it's going to be a huge project. So we've just been kind of sloughing it off and like redoing the backyard and doing other projects, but it's really time to finally start looking at floors. I forgot I put this clip in here. Colton, when he was done working in the loft, he on his own went into his room, pulled everything off of his bed and started organizing and cleaning. So I had to put this clip in here. I thought it was so cute and I'm just so darn proud of this little guy. He loves to just jump in and help. So anytime I'm filming or cleaning, a lot of times you'll see him jump in and he just wants to help with something. He's like the freaking best kid ever. He's so outgoing and sweet. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead to continue to vacuum here upstairs and then we'll go ahead and move on downstairs.
when I was making my bed earlier in this video that my duvet cover was missing and that's just because I was overdue on washing it and so I actually took it off the bed this morning and I just threw it over the wall um, of the upstairs and it landed on the landing of like my stairwell right there so that way I could grab it next time I came downstairs so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the wash and then when that's all clean I'll go put it back on the bed and it's just so nice to have a fresh duvet. I definitely slack on washing this because we haven't really been using it. We usually just fold it back because it's still warm here in Southern California. So we usually just sleep with our top sheet and then the middle blanket. So I'm finally gonna go ahead and get that washed, but how often do you all wash your duvet covers? The next task that I really need to tackle is emptying out the dishwasher and I'm a little behind. I usually like to do this earlier in the day, but priorities. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now because I do have some dishes sitting in the sink and I just don't want to fall too far behind. So I'm going to go ahead and unload this super quick and then reload it. So if you also have clean dishes just sitting in your dishwasher, get up and get it unloaded with me. It's hard to wait Can I be around you For motivation Just a little while now. A simple question Can I get closer Just for motivation Can I be around you For motivation Just a little while now. A simple question Can I get closer 
watching this video back, editing it, I feel like we got so much done in today's video. So I hope that this was able to give you guys a ton of Monday motivation to get up and get things done around your house, whatever you have fallen behind on, get up and get it taken care of. I know it can be challenging, but it is so, so rewarding. And just thank you for spending time with me today. It seriously means the world. And I just appreciate all of your time. And if you guys have not yet subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. I have a ton more motivation coming and I try and just keep my content new and exciting. And of course, I am here to help you guys along with those difficult tasks and try to keep our homes together one day at a time. So I love you guys so much. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a pizza in the oven because my boys are always hungry. And I'm gonna go ahead and put up my feet and start to edit this video for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.